Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to uh, Traction Thursday here at CoLab in Fairfield, Iowa. My name is Alex Taylor. I am employed by, I'm the managing director for the Iowa Startup Accelerator Services uh, through Nubo Co., which is a nonprofit organization out of Cedar Rapids dedicated to economic development through computer science education, all the way through to entrepreneurship. And this is part of the entrepreneurship side of the coin. Um, the way things will work today, as most of you know, we'll quickly go around the room and just quickly introduce yourself and what you're working on. And we will, so that the uh, everybody knows who's in the room. The purpose of this is to, to build the ecosystem for entrepreneurs to successfully start and grow their businesses in, in this community, which contributes to economic development and livelihood for everybody. Um, after we've made introductions, we'll have a guest speaker. Kevin Riley will speak to us today about CoLab and all the wonderful things that go on here and the opportunities that exist here in Fairfield. Once he's completed, there will be opportunity for Q&A, and then we'll quickly wrap up with just community announcements that you want to share with other people. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. oh, let's do it. Okay, so uh, we'll start with Mr. Ferguson. Okay, so Bob Ferguson, I wear a number of hats, run a business, a uh, family business in town here. And I'm working on the Southeast Iowa Food Web with the Sustainable Living Coalition, many other people. I work with the Fair of uh, the uh, Iowa Food System Coalition. We're putting a plan together for the state and um, other things. Like that. Okay. My name is Brad Frager. I'm the publisher of the Fairfield Journal. Uh, it's, a, it's the online community newspaper. We I got it started about two years ago exactly, and. Uh, Having trouble getting all the subscribers I need, I'm looking for a marketing director. I'm real good at doing things, but I'm terrible at marketing. So I'm looking for a marketing director. But fairfieldjournal.org, uh, that's all. Take a look at the paper. I think you'll be surprised how wonderful it is. One person working in there, and he's not getting paid anything. <laughs> so, My name is Augustine Harless. Um, I'm here on well, Monday through Friday. I, I do social work for the public school. Um, but I have a um, frozen dessert business that I'm scaling up right now. Utterly epic frozen desserts. It's mobile, mm -hmm. mobile soft serve. Excellent. Good. Jamie either. Uh, I am working on my business plan again to recreate well, a, a miniature version of my grand design um, for a grocery store. Got to start small and build up. So great, excellent, sir. Uh, Mike Cudahy, uh, is currently writing a political blog, The High Road. So I like it. Excellent, exciting times to be doing that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to read this. I wrote it out. Okay. Uh, my name is Ian Rotham. My wife Mary Catherine and I are in, uh, involved in a number of property projects including a garden, planting native trees, and mulching uh, all of the trees out to their drip line. I'm also an author, emailer, YouTube playlist maker, would-be publisher, with an overall goal of helping heaven down onto our earth. There you go. Excellent. I like it. Yeah. Uh, Stuart Valentine, I run an investment management firm, Centered Wealth, and I'm on the board of the Sustainable Living Coalition and the Sustainable Iowa Land Trust. Well, Ed Malloy, Economic Development Director for uh, Grow Fairfield. Offices are right there. Stop in on your way out. Nice. Jai Purdy, partner with Blue Rose Project. Excellent. Uh, uh, Stephen Cardinal, uh, Creative Director for Blue Rose. Excellent. Uh, Sue Sorensen, Executive Director of the Bell Center in Mount Pleasant, which is um, hopefully going to look something like this. Yeah. I love this. Um, and we also, it's a, what, what we're calling a community driven ecosystem. So. Okay. It's good. She has a lot more going on than that. Yeah. So I just want to point that out that I just found out about. Um, my name is Phyllis Kerr, and I've written a few books for the Dummy series and built an online school to train social media managers all over the world. And I sold that in 2020, and I continue to work with um, online clients that do podcasting and YouTubers and their blog and the emailing and all of that. I work with them. And then I also have some local projects I'm working on that, and that's one of the reasons why I'm here. Excellent. Very good. Galen. Hey, I'm Galen Satterley, 
co-owner of uh, Breadtopia and the collective, you know, big house, and um, we're you know, working on future products, projects that relate to what we're currently doing and uh, making this eco or this economic um, system within our small area much much bigger. Uh, Frank Chichula, uh, when the day job doesn't get in the way of what I'd rather be doing, I <laughs> work at a, a, a host a not-for-profit called Deep Green Machine, which is uh, located on the campus of Redtopia and the Collective. All right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, one tradition I sort of forgot to introduce, but we're going to introduce it today. It's always really helpful if you're going to speak to a crowd of people to get your adrenaline going and get your your testosterone up and get everybody to saw. Ah, so let's give our uh, today's speaker who's on the board for the collab. Let's all give uh, Kevin Riley a standing ovation. <laughs> Well, thank you. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I didn't need all that coffee I drank. I uh, my name is Kevin Riley. I'm on the board for the Fairfield Collab, founding member of the Collab. I also run a design and branding agency of one right back here and um, collaborate a lot with people in our community around design and creativity. So, but I'm here to talk about the collab first. Before everyone gets too comfortable, who would appreciate a tour? And you don't have to. I'm just curious if anyone here. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. Let's just do a quick run around. Is, is that all right? Yeah. Beginning or in the show. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I got to bring Zen away. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So, you keep doing the ball. Co working is about flexible workspace. And so, we're going to just kind of see some of the space here. This is a, our, we call our open workspace. You can come in, you can sit anywhere you'd like here. Uh, a base membership is $50 a month. Uh, you can also get an office. You can have a dedicated desk. If you'd like your own personal belongings, you want to leave them there. These teller stations haven't been fully utilized. We have one person working back there who loves it. Uh, he's just standing up, but we can envision this would be really cool. Um, little kind of cubby desks. But right now, if you're the one guy sitting here, you are the receptionist for the co -op. So <laughs> It's a little scary to be in here working for me. Uh, this is our new kitchen. We just had a local contractor build this amazing counter and cabinet came from the bank heroes. It was an existing cabinet that he refurbished for the, uh, the counter himself. Um, so we we love it. We love that we're, we're trying to keep as much of the the original architecture intact. This bank is called uh, Airstream Modern. <laughs> and there's one other building in town that I know of that has this type of architecture. It's the high school. Mm. It, think about it. Yeah, they've got that rounded mm -hmm. front. They got those same color bricks. I don't know if they are the exact same brick manufacturer, but um, we hope to get a little bit bigger table here and be able to host like a cafe meeting here. Like we could all be having our thing. I think we got just enough people. We could probably fit in a space like this. Tonight we'll be having a happy hour in here. Uh, starts at five o'clock. We're just kind of celebrating, getting back to a, a routine. We, we used to do this once a month on third Thursdays. So we're gonna get back to that. And tonight's featured guest of honor is Ed and Julie from Grove Fairfield. <laughs> so yeah, come up, come on out tonight if you guys aren't doing anything and we're just hanging out. It's just very, very casual. Uh, of course, I'm not gonna take you to the basement, but I've got, you gotta see the vault. This is incredible. This is incredible. And we have the keys to the castle. We have every key to every cubby here and it takes two keys to open every one of them. Uh, and no, no, we haven't rented it to anyone yet, but we've had a lot of people ask and a lot of Why ideas. Do Why don't you do? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, because there's no internet in here. You can't even make a phone call. <laughs> so it's hard to so use. So we're saying, yeah, do we have the keys to the boxes? Or yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 You, could, you could provide you, storage services. You guys can, you guys can jump in there. Real quick if you the want digital. Uh, I mean, why not? Yeah, there you go. Maybe a, shout, uh, a screaming room. A screaming room. <laughs> right. You just get in there and just let it, let it all out. I like that. shorter, too. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> 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 yeah. Washington doesn't have any. Washington, Washington. 
Well, they they have no don't sue them. Well, we can that. talk about that later. There's a, it's a complicated endeavor to rent that. There's liability. Go back. Uh, I've got all these offices are about the same size. They, they wrap all the way around. This is my office here, but it's pretty representative of most of the offices here. Uh, I just drug all my furniture from our other collab over here. And so it was pretty quick and easy to get plugged in. Come back. Hey, this is a marvelous boardroom. Yes, it is. Great. This is a great room. I did a workshop here and it was just perfect. It was just the right size for oh, the amount great. of people. It was great. That's of course, great. There, was a, there, there, was some, there was a TV here. Yep, it's out there now. We're just, oh, I, see. I just rolled it out there. Got it. Yeah, we've got some more glass whiteboards we're putting up in here. Some people have said it's a little moody. Yeah. A, like a little it. bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, it's it's worked out great. It's a it's a benefit to all the members. If you're a member, you can rent it anytime. If you're not a member, you can still rent it. You just pay a little bit by the hour, and it can be booked on our our website. Yep. This space is a little bit undeveloped. Um, we have a guy that loves to work back here. He just likes the, the solitude and the white noise. The Bates still have their servers running here, but uh, when those get out of here, which will be I guess this year. Um, we can imagine this being another little meeting space, gathering place like we could be having this type of event, of an event right here too. So we also have a play play place for kids. Oh yeah, yes, yes. daycare. Yeah, <laughs> for adults. <laughs> okay, that 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 concludes the tour. Very yeah. <laughs> excited about cool facility. I think the city's getting excited about what's going to happen there. People are getting stressed. Sorry, I couldn't go in there. Oh, that's all right. Did Co right. buy it? Yes, Co owns this building. We, we were renting, we had the opportunity to buy our last building, but we were renters. Um, so it's really nice to have that. Yeah. <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah, we had we were upstairs at the last collab, and there was a lot of challenges with that with that space. Uh, I'll get into some of that. Uh, collab is an open workspace that incubates connectivity, productivity, and creativity. We need connection and community to be resilient. The collab is your solution to creative isolation. That is my favorite way to sum up what we provide right here. Is just the opposite of creative isolation. And so people do all different kinds of things in here and just want to be around other people or bounce ideas off of other people. So um, if it's nothing else, it is that. This is our old building. I'm going to give you just a real quick history of how we put this together. Um, in 2013, Lee Ross invited Andy Stoll, this guy, up from Cedar Rapids, he was involved in the new boat co up there and a whole bunch of creatives from the community. These were the ones that decided that, that to show up for this crazy idea, but a lot of people were invited. Uh, this is at Revelations Cafe. And we're just, I think this is the first picture we have of an early meeting. We started brainstorming. Um, everyone was really inspired by Andy's message the things that were going on in Cedar Rapids, Iowa City, around us. And uh, we thought we could probably pull something off in this town, but couldn't have done it without the enthusiasm of Lee Ross, who had just endless ideas and energy to connect with people. He was calling up everybody, just cold calling people and saying, hey, what do you think of this idea? Do you want to meet with us? Um, that's never been my specialty. I really appreciate that about him. He is the kind of guy you need at the time that you're trying to get something off the ground like that. Uh, this is just early meetings here. This is another early meeting. We had 35 people pitch in right about this time, $35 each to become founding members. And all of a sudden we used that as our founding member base to elect a board of directors. We had five board of directors and then we went up to seven. Uh, Roland Wells, let me see, he's in this picture. Cool. Go back. Yeah, this guy. I don't know if you know him or not. Uh, if you've been around a long time, you definitely know him. 
He was involved in the Bonnell project. And he was the kind of guy that was all about these types of ideas. He would let you be real creative in the space. It didn't always work out for him, but he believed in that vision of letting people be um, collaborative and a little bit free. So not so many rules, not so much rent, but uh, he let us come in with sledgehammers and literally start ripping down the walls because he believed in this idea and wanted to support it. So we tore that upstairs apart in that, that building over there. Uh, and he owned it at the time, so he could let us do that. Mm -hmm. While that was happening, we were meeting at like a coffee shop and sending out emails to people and saying, hey, we're co-working, you know? We've seen people do this in the city. It's really cool. And so we just, you know, we were just trying to like get some, get some traction. This was happening at the other place. Starting to come together. We, we had two buildings over there. We smashed a hole in the wall to connect the two. Um, what's, what's going on there? A whole lot of sanding. A whole lot of volunteers work. Uh, everybody was just pitching in sweat equity. No one has ever um, been on the payroll at this point here. We're all just trying to see if this idea can fly. This is our brand new sign that got up. Look at it. The one-way sign is pointing over to our next building over here. It turned out to be the Iowa State Bank building. We toured this building at the same time that we ended up here. And it was our, our at the very top of our wish list. It was our, our dream building, this space. And at the time, the bank was phasing out of it. So we had discussions with them. We just couldn't. There was just no way. We just couldn't imagine how we were month to month, shoestring. Um, and then years later, that started to click together. This is fresh paint. Having a happy hour like we'll be having tonight. Bob Ross, our first paid member. Collab. Hey, there's Ed kicking it off for us there. This is our grand opening. That's our new hole in the wall between the buildings there. It connected the office spaces and the open space. Oops. Um, this is a, like a renovated office here. Big Tree started with, um, and if you know, Big Tree is a marketing agency, digital optimization agency here in town. Uh, started working next to David. Uh, in the open space, just, you know, in, in a shared space like this, um, he he quickly grew, uh, and they had 12 people in one of these offices at one point, so this is their, then they, now, and they moved on. So our original board, at this, on these first stages, grew up Airfield, which was, the director was Adam Pluggy, and Josh Larrabee was helping out, he was, they were working together, a partnership there. Uh, became absolutely integral. There was no way the CoLab could start to put together outreach to the banks and other businesses and say, hey, we're legit. We need a little help making this happen. We have a good idea and we have a lot of energy. Um, so FIDA at the time, Grow Up Airfield, made it, started making it real, started making it concrete, helped us with grant proposals, helped us write a business plan. Uh, Anna Bruin was also integral in that business planning, visioning process. Were, were you have the same hat? Me? Was that the same hat? <laughs> no, I have a lot of hats. Uh, so we started having events right away. First year we had, or it was the second year maybe, we had a startup weekend event. Um, these are incredible events where you, you boot camp an idea with a team that you've just put together at this event, uh, and then you pitch it. And so it's like a business pitch idea, but you get a chance to develop an idea that you didn't have at the beginning of this event. Uh, in fact, they insist that you didn't come in with an idea. They want this, this is all about the process of getting together with people and, and seeing what, what happens. Me and Ty had just gone to one in the Quad Cities with Lee Ross, um, came up with the idea of Cider Finder which is an app that would help you find all the cideries in the area and what's the best cider and rate those and stuff because we were inspired by our two cideries here in town. Uh, and the guy that we partnered with that we had met up there is still still going. I get invites for the board meeting. I haven't attended. He's not, it's not going anywhere yet, but he's still keeping it going. It's a, it's a, it's a really neat idea and he's passionate about it. So we're just kind of on the background. Of that. But, so some of these ideas become real and flourish and grow beyond way beyond the original inspiration and that's what we hope happens here at the collab so this is just uh, a group of students doing what a mini version of startup weekend all within about an hour we had them get together 
come up with ideas, pitch them to us. Uh, and so we're just, we're, we're talking to the students here. It's a happy hour event. The, I just pulled this photo out. I was going through the photos today. This is really cool. Um, this These students came up with Money Lick, a stock investment app, and they were pitching that to us there. But this young gentleman uh, was just selling me sprouts at the farmer's market. So he is definitely a, an, an entrepreneurial one. And I knew I recognized him, but I didn't know where from. So anyway, that slides for me. I just thought that was cool. This is having an event at our new spot here. I think this place right here is very cool. I'd love to see like a pull down projector um, here for, for big projection without having to roll this thing around, but this is great too. Art Walk, hosting student art events here. And every first Friday, there'll be a different, different rotating artists in here. So stop in here, put that on your, put that on your rotation. The view from my office. Uh, another group of students with a app pitch. The winners won a hundred dollars, I think. <laughs> the best app, app showcase. Yeah. Yeah, it was Michael Cook. He was one of our founding members. And I tried to pull him into everything because he was great. I tried, to, <laughs> I tried to keep him on the hook as long as I could. Uh, oh, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. Before I go any more, then I'll throw out some questions here. If you got any. What were your, you know, a lot of students you were describing there, what were those, were those Fairfield High, Marishi School, MIU, Indian Hills, where did you draw your students? All those, all those that you just mentioned. Um, towards, when it started out, it was um, mostly middle school students, I believe, and then it evolved to more of the, like the STEM programs mm -hmm. at different schools. Heard about that, and they got really excited about that, and so oftentimes it was, uh, was it STEM? No, it was the what do they call it, tag, tag programs, mm -hmm. students, tal talented and gifted, so that's the only one? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. So some of those groups were more enthusiastic about the idea um, and wanted to keep a regular rotation of that. Do you know, uh, does Indian Hills still have classes at Carnegie Library locally, or is it yeah. they have, uh, in person classes? Uh, um, I don't know about in person, but I know they have online classes. Okay. Like, like, like this, and then, you know, it's projected to set elsewhere. Yeah. By the way, we hope to start this up again real soon with students. And would any of you be interested in just being like coming in and just judging their, their pitch, their idea? Sure. Yeah. Okay. It just takes a minute. It's really fun. Their ideas are awesome. Okay. I'm a curious person. What event do businesses that are using this space in here? I know you have some things going on in the space. So what, yeah. what are the types of Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Yeah, good. I'm so glad you asked because I just made this list yesterday. Um, I'm a designer. We have brand strategists, marketers, a few programmers, three, I think. Programmers win. I think they've got the most, the highest tally. A couple of writers. One is a grant writer. We have a CAD designer, an economic development agency. We have ArtWalk. GMO certification, we have a CPA, an ad manager, film production, an IT manager, multiple city and community planning committees, we have a soap maker, a jewelry designer, we have four married couples working here, but all in their own spaces, <laughs> all separate. <laughs> That's cool. And it's about 50-50 men and women here. Whose office is that? Oh, hey, this hey. is Dave with the bank. Yes, the bank has still got this lease for, or not, not the whole building, but they have a couple of spaces here. They've got some of their servers here and a little bit of storage in the basement. So that expires this year, but Dave's sticking around. His name's on the building, so he's not going. He was crawling around in here when, um, when his dad was working here at the bank. Mm -hmm. So he can remember crawling between these railings here. When was this building built? Um, it was, it was, and I was yeah, they, there was a building torn down before they rebuilt the new building. I can't remember the, the so day of the 60s. Okay. Yeah, yeah and in, in general, we're not trying to take on more 
kind of coordination roles. We're trying to be a space where people can do awesome things that, that aligns with our mission. So if all of Art Block occurred within here, we'd be all about it. But it's this is just, we're just, our contribution is letting art be on the walls, yeah. Well, maybe it's the winter time, it's, it's got me. Yeah. I remember the, uh, last summer I brought my, my son and his wife came in and they were blown away by the, that art walk. It was just phenomenal. There was art all over the place in all kinds of buildings and yeah, and somebody playing bands and it was just a yeah. phenomenal art walk. Thing. Yeah. Anyone else, anyone? Oh, Kevin, what, uh, five years from now, what do you hope will be happening here beyond what's happening already? I'd like to see enough synergy happening here where it starts to feel like there's it's just the the community the people here are the engine for the collab and that the board of directors is really just trying to make sure everything gets taken care of but not having to keep injecting a lot of energy um i i want to give community members more opportunity or as much as they want basically within the space so i hope that becomes the engine I've always thought we would get to this 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 certain tipping point where there would be enough um, sort of just creatives in here that if you weren't coming in here, you were kind of missing out. You didn't know what you might be missing out on, and so we're still we're still trying to get there to that point where like if you're a creative in town, whether you're producing film or or ads or um, social media or designing a robot or whatever, you you just want to know what other creatives are in your area, and this would at least be on your you know your stops like, see what's going on oh sorry do you have a, a website the collab yeah ffcollab.com yep and you can sign up there to be a member you can also pay membership fees there and you can book the conference room all on that website go ahead um do you i mean is, is it on your website or like, do you have a way to understand the network that you guys are kind of um fostering in that if someone had, uh, they're doing a business here or they, they had a business, they were able, able to connect with other entities in this place or promote them, their business, promote their, whatever they're doing. Is that something you guys? Yeah. You, is this, are you thinking so that we have an overhead view or so that each person coming in here has a view of everything that's happening? I think, like from from my side, I would, I would love to come in here, and if it's just something on the wall, yeah, whatever. I know the yeah. businesses that want to be known, what they do, and so that it kind of creates that network, yeah, of like, oh, I, you know, I, for some reason, need a soap maker, right? And then I can just and come in here and say, oh, wow, I was a soap maker. And then I connect with that person. Yeah. It, you know. Yeah, yeah. We. Uh, yeah, our bad. We have actually created a mission statement along with a business card holder and some other information. We just haven't hung it up since we moved into this. Oh, well, I get it. I'm totally scared to put holes in the walls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I think yeah. that's what we need. Yeah, I think this, this website or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot could be done with the website too. But definitely on the in the entryway here, there should be some orientation or what what's who's in here and what they're doing. Right. If they want to be out. Yeah, a local business resource directory. Yeah. 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 Sort of like workforce, but for entrepreneurs. Yeah. Yeah. Can we pivot to some of the stuff we want to see happening more in here and, and envision happening real soon? Um, Stuart, do you want to say anything about well, kind just of like that? Uh, you know, the, uh, the regenerative city planning process, the strategic planning process has that Ann Walton and Mark Dwyer and her team have put together that is now integrated into the city and Maharishi International University. And the business community have all funded phase three's the partner's position as sustainability coordinator. And um, you know, the collab factors heavily into that for this kind of uh, you know, the, this expressly for entrepreneurial development and business startup support services and uh, fostering community connections within the community. Right. And ProLab is so centrally located right on the square with this beautiful space. Uh, this is the place where the better party uh, could and should and will be happy. That's the idea. Um, yeah. And a place where people can get support for business ideas uh, 
A to Z, which is why the partnership with Invoca is so important because yeah. of the statewide network that Alex represents. Yeah, and I think there's a big gap there right now, and there is a good amount of people that come in and just want business support, and they, you know, they they're not even sure what the next step well, is. They're not that looking will require for funding because yeah. somebody has to be yeah. there in that capacity, kind of like yeah. LA is to Indian Hills. Yeah, we have for the collab. So yeah, that, that means you know, yeah, shaking the tree of our Fairfield community to value that sufficiently that. My ear perked up when you said one of your members is a grant writer because I think you know when it comes to rural economic development, the collab and the broader Fairfield sustainability effort is grantable. How's that? Yeah, yeah. that's a word. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm not sure who that individual is and whether their scope would. Uh, kind of right. <laughs> and so I guess depending on where people are at in their journey. We, I, I would send them to Ed, I would send them to Economic Development, or I would send them to Kelly at, uh, at Kelly, yeah. or I would send them to Alex, yeah. yeah and kidding. so we don't have as much of a directory, but we're starting to reinforce these connections that that, yeah. that have the connections. So we're, we're hoping just to keep this going. You, keep this... you become the hub of a multiple yeah. spoke yeah. Uh, wheel yeah, yeah. of community data. What do you get as a member? Yeah, we uh, we have physical infrastructure. We also have a community. Uh, but so so if you if you can come in here and pay your fifty dollars a month membership, you have access to the internet. You have a professional conference room to meet clients in. You've got printer and kitchen. yeah, kitchen, all the things, copy. You, you know, a great place to hang out. So it, it's it's like plug and play for your business. You're a little further along. But some people join us in that journey of their business. Like, how do I get out of this isolation mode? And so, yeah, you know, there's a lot of reasons why you might. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to solve my problems. Which, yeah. which sort of brings up the point we don't have an embedded EA here that helps everybody. Right. So that would be something that would be a great feature for the businesses that are here. If they know that someone could do those things. Yeah, it'd be incredible. Do you think we need to have like a level scan for us to take to the embedded VA or it could be instant contact? Yeah. yeah. Right. Hey, hey, Philip, what's a VA? Virtual, virtual assistant. Oh, uh, embedded so virtual assistant. It would be an actual assistant. Yeah. Be... Yeah, well, we would love to have a director, yeah. uh, a paid director. Um, it would take a lot of the Little tasks off of our hands of, of the board. Um, board burnout on a nonprofit, I should mention we're a nonprofit, is like a real thing. Um, and so we, we we aim to to try to get there within the year. That's what we're Sue working is hard. doing in Mount Pleasant with the Bell Center. Yeah. We've got executive director who will help facilitate these things formally, but she's under contract to do that. <laughs> Yeah. You know, and I, I would uh, recommend thinking about uh, polling the uh, businesses here and see who would be interested in a fractional VA because that's what I do. I, I have a VA in Alberta, Canada, and she's under contract with me for a certain number of months or another number of hours a month, and uh, it works out great. Um, and I think that might be doable. And even if right. even if you have businesses that are not in here who need a virtual assistant, right? Even if they're three blocks away, right. I, I'd consider that. You know, idea. I I never considered it as a benefit to all of the members as much as a benefit to the collab. And so that's a it's a really neat way to think about that. Right. That individual yeah. companies in yeah. here would really benefit. We have time for one more question. Yeah. Do you own those nonprofits? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It was a miracle. <laughs> Still it is a miracle. Yeah. All right. Before we wrap up, uh, I always like to conclude you have all of these wonderful resources in the community before you. What can they do to help you succeed? What can you do? Your biggest need today that you think this group can help you with? Great. Um, Get the word out. I think there's a lot of people that still don't know what the collab is. And so if you know people that are just kind of struggling to stay connected or get their business going, or you think a change like this, a change of environment or something might bring their business to the next level, just have them check us out. What do you have a flyer or anything that I can put up? 
Yes. Yeah. 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 Cool. Well, what is your current capacity if you have five people walking in? Right. Uh, spaces. Do you like want to rent right now? Yeah. We have a lot of open space, um, and we have uh, a waiting list for offices, okay. and those go, they rotate out, so it's not, it's not a real long waiting list, but yeah. You have these wonderful, yeah, we have, we, right we, have, we have dedicated desk and open space right now, and yeah. then a waiting list for offices. That's right. Let's give Kevin a, a round of that was awesome. I spend a lot of time in co-working spaces across the state, and this is by far the coolest, like, <laughs> you know, this whole bank thing. I get goosebumps thinking about it. <laughs> Let me just do a quick survey. If, and, and I am going to just be bold and crazy here, if this event were to move to this location, is there, are there, I mean, I know there's some discussions about that. Is this a... It's a preference. It's a preference here? Why would that be? Just a, the stairs. The stairs, Okay. Okay. And, the the and the park. And the park. Okay. Good. That's good. That's helpful. Well, I just, I yeah. the commute's kind of rough, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's not to take away any business from the. the... I mean, this is a bigger space. It's, I, I, I mean, I'm all for it. Okay. It's, it's not, you know, this is. There you go. There we go. We can arrange that. The uh, Gravitate Des Moines hosts their million cups there. Merge in Iowa City, the co working space hosts their million cups. Volt, which is a co working space in Cedar Rapids, hosts their million cups. Traction Thursday is, is a version of million cups. It would make sense to have this here, but there'll, there'll, there'll have to be some discussions. But certainly, Bob will keep you posted if, if the venue changes. But for next week, I'm not making changes next week. It's up to Bob, but right now it's tentatively at, at Brentopia still. Well, let, let's take a let's take an informal survey. We got a lot of regulars here. How many people would feel comfortable if we just moved the and moved it here? No, I see wants to have a talk. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's right. right. Do you want to move it then? I it'll give if if. If it's no, so if, if the stairs are a problem, I can yeah. totally understand. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I get as lost trying to find them. So it doesn't feel like <laughs> that. And, and there's more parts. Not easy. Kevin, right. is it okay with you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It, okay. Kind of All right. So let so, it be done. So, so let me so, done. See how so easy that is. Tell us, let's get together and make decisions just like that. We didn't need a committee. We didn't need to. Fantastic. We will be here next week with one, Kelly Prickett. Oh. One, the one caveat is that everybody needs to put away chairs. And you have to do All right. Yeah, so we do that over there anyway. Yeah. Also, right now there's nobody working in these open spaces. And I'll let everyone know there. But there, we if, if that gets to be a problem, we have to respect our members' ability to focus and get work done. But I'll, I'll, I'll be like that. Buy, we'll buy them lunch. I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. One hour. Yeah. Does that come up? Yeah. Okay, can you get an answer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Well, as you said, Kevin, at some point, if there's a bigger table yeah. of chairs, they could be in that room. Yeah. And you've got an event here this evening, correct? Yeah, tonight. Uh, special guests, Grove Airfield at Ann Jewelry, I assume. Yeah. Um, and we'll probably be hanging out mostly in, in the kitchen. So you're all invited. Five, it starts at 5 o'clock. Happy though. Right. Any announcements from Mount Pleasant? Mm -hmm. Um, well, the Grange, my other wife. Chicken, <laughs> chicken night at the Grange. Chicken night. All right. Well, thank you all very much for showing up. We'll see you again next Thursday at same bat time, same bat channel.